When working with civil 3D pipe networks, it's often necessary to analyze the individual pipe crossings to confirm that there is no conflict and also to make sure that they conform to the clearance tolerances set out in the design standards. In the SolidCAD civil tools, we have a label pipe crossing pipe interference function that will help us easily identify the information at each of these crossings. So we'll select that function from the ribbon and that will activate the pipe interference dialog box. We have a number of options to identify each crossing. We can do a simple circle, do a detailed block, which will give us a lot of information on the crossing, or a summary block to help give us an overview of each crossing. We can preset the minimum clearance. We can preset the text dice and a default pipe size as required. Checking the label profile view option will permit the crossings to be labeled in the profile view and make summary table can be used to develop a AutoCAD table that will contain all the information about each individual pipe crossing for easy review. Checking the do all pipes option will make sure that we check all the crossings all at once in the civil 3D drawing. We're going to click OK and we're prompted to include pressure pipes in our analysis and we're going to say no to that and this will display the network list of all the pipe networks in the civil 3D drawing. In this exercise or in this drawing we have a storm and sanitary network and we can add those to our groupings should we have more networks that we want to check. We're going to say OK to this and now we can see that we have our crossing information to be placed in the table is listed in this dialog box and we'll set OK and we'll pick a location for our table. The command line is now prompting us if we want to zoom to the individual intersections to review the crossings and we're going to say yes to that and the crossings again are displayed in the dialog box and we'll wa walk our way through the each individual crossing. So the first crossing is shown in the plan view. It's crossing number one. The clearance is identified as 0 0.448 meters and it's in red which means it does not meet the tolerance. If we move over to the label that identifies the details on the crossing we can see that we have the invert elevations and the summary clearance values displayed. This would be similar for all the crossings in the plan view. If we move to the profile view, we can see that we have each individual crossing labeled with similar detail in the profile. The table will be inserted in the drawing at the location with, again, the details of the crossing displayed in the rows and columns.